Hello again, a uh, new project for today. You know, if you are, uh, if you are playing in a band like I do, and uh, you face it sometime, you know, the lack of uh, monitoring, you know, a lack of sound monitoring. I was thinking about having a kind of personal monitor, you know, in-ear monitor. But, uh, you know, the professional uh, devices are pretty expensive and we are just a bunch of amateurs, you know, doing a little bit of bluesy stuff. So I was thinking about using one of these FM radio transmitters with a line in and then I can tune my mobile phone to the frequency. Of course the mobile should have a, a FM radio receiver, but most of them have it already. Of course the quality of the things are not uh, professional, but at least you have a clue about what's happening there. And uh, it's a very simple uh, way to do this. What I have done, I dismantled this. And this is the transmitter itself. Uh, even have a remote control and different things here. And I was just connected a 12 volt adapter because this one is working with 12 volts and 24 volts from 12 to 24 volts. It's a car FM transmitter and it's also reading USB and uh, SD cards. But uh, I use it just for line in here. So like I said, it's a very simple modification. Just get rid of the other stuff, you know, and, and uh, plug a 12 volt adapter here and you are in the business. Let's put it back for now and let's make a test. You know, this, this is the cheapest model I found because I, I'm, uh, I'm only experimenting with this project. But uh, it's, the quality is pretty okay. I'm pretty sure uh, a better FM transmitter will do a better job. It's kind of uh, it's a kind of noise there, not too much, but enough. So let's plug it in. Okay, so it's on, and now it's transmitting on 108, 108 megahertz. And let me have some music here. So I have the signal here. For now, I'm going to use the headphones out of the mixer. You see, that's the, that's the phone here. And plug it to line in. And that's the volume here for the phones. I can use it for having the right uh, amount. Oh. Okay, now all we have to do is to grab some headphones like this, that's a Sony, I can't remember the model anyway, uh, okay, that's it. Plug in your phones here. Let me see where I have FM radio. There we have, there we have. Okay, so we have the FM radio. We go to, let's say, uh, 108 megahertz here. Yeah. And we should have a signal here. And it's working. If you don't have the right uh, reception, you can try another frequency. But for now, it's working great. And uh, what else about this? 
you can even listening this on a regular radio and uh, you can even have a kind of wireless remote uh, signal to another loudspeaker or another mixer uh, let's say 10 meters away or something but everything depends on the quality of the transmitter but this one I told you this one is the cheapest one on the market that costs uh, like maybe it costs maybe I don't know five dollars or something anyway so let's go on FM and let's reach 108 megahertz like I said if 108 or or any other frequency it's already busy uh, you can you can switch the frequency from the from the transmitter and there we are but like I said it's very here is a very noisy environment a very noisy radio environment I have the I have my laptop and I have a lot of other electronics around and it's a lot of hiss and piss but uh, that's the idea of the things and uh, something else you know this one can be connected to let's say to control room or auxiliary send and then you can have uh, only only the channel you want let's say the the guitarist wants to hear his guitar only then you can use it just for that channel or it can uh, it can be used also you can use a lot of transmitters like this with different frequencies for for each instrument of course it's a little bit complicated it's not a professional uh, setup like I said but uh, for, uh, for the beginning it's pretty nice and it's easy to have it uh, with a mobile phone and uh, everybody will have the same signal uh, you can even do uh, you can even have a rehearsal without loudspeakers you can you can listen in your uh, in your headphones all the stuffs and uh, okay let me let me check something else interesting here so we have volume of course and I may say the signal is going in the same split of the second because this is an analog broadcasting so there is no delay on the on the way now let me see if I can have a, a microphone connected to this hey microphone 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 it's here microphone it's here you can hear that you can hear that much better hey hey this is the microphone yeah so it's, it's working like uh, like an, any normal monitoring stuff I hope that you that you catch the idea it's very simple to to use it and it's very simple to connect it also and uh, it can be also uh, supplied by uh, batteries if you have some uh, if you have some lithium batteries like this you can make a, a pack and that will last for weeks because it's a very low power consuming here I think it's very useful for a, a band, a small band with uh, not so much economical power thank you, bye bye